Hi, it's Kim from Expressions of the Universe. And welcome to your weekly wisdom for December 9th through the 16th, 17th. I did check the calendar and then I already forgot. You all know how bad I am at that. So let's see, we got through the full moon. We're in a Mercury retrograde for the next couple of weeks. And Mars just moved into Scorpio. Mars is the planet of war. Scorpio is the planet of death transformation, uh, dark things, hidden things. So what does that mean? I feel that the energy will probably get really heavy over the next couple of weeks. Mars will be in Scorpio until next year, so you better get used to it. If Mercury retrograde hasn't made you a hermit or, um, you know, that full moon drove you to crawl under a rock, Mars in Scorpio just may because it's joining the Jupiter in Scorpio. However, this isn't really a bad thing. It is about the darker side of things, our own shadow side, which I am hopefully collaborating with an acquaintance of mine um, who is also part of the Namaste Today Club and we're going to try and do a piece on the shadow side together. We'll do a video. Hopefully that'll pan out. That's um, sweet Valerie Marks who I just found out lives in Pennsylvania. I thought she lived in Florida for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, you know, expect possible romances cropping up, very um, steamy sexual intensity. I could go for that since I've been single for a long time. Um, yeah, so lots of good things coming with this Mars and Scorpio. Expect big changes, big transformations to come your way. And... I have a really important announcement. Hopefully you're still watching. I'm going to be running a contest. Since this is the season of giving, I'm going to be giving away uh, mini three card readings via email to at least seven subscribers. So stay tuned for more info. I'm going to post the first contest question right after this announcement. Let me put my tea down. So I'm, run, I'm going to be recording for my health and wellness segment a video for each of the chakras. They'll be quick little videos. I'll pair it up with some of my favorite crystals so that we can get our chakras in alignment. And so at the in each video there will be a code word and then you will comment the code word probably on Facebook or Instagram or even on YouTube or in my blog. You can do that and then I'll announce the winners. So here's the first <clears throat> contest since I haven't recorded the videos. I'm going to show you a photo of all of the seven chakras. Under one of those chakra cards is a fun and enjoyable word. Um, if you can guess which chakra is holding the the fun theme for the week, comment the video either here on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or my blog, and you will win a little mini. Um, I can't even talk. Ah, you'll win a three card mini reading from me via email. All right, so did you see the cards? Did you make your guess? which chakra card has the fun theme word under it for this week. 
I don't know. You're going to have to comment me. Now, if more than one people answer the correct question or uh, guess the correct chakra, I'll just put all of your names into a hat and I will pull them. I'm going to announce the winner. Uh, let's see. I will announce the winner. I don't know. I think I'm going to do it on my next on my next weekly wisdom. I'm also trying to plan a live weekly wisdom and I'll probably have more contests to give away more free readings during the live weekly wisdom. I have to think about it. You know, we are in Mercury retrograde. We have all these crazy energies going on and you know, who knows? My mind has been a jumble. So let's see. The theme for this week. Ha! Huh. This is funny. I don't know if you could see it, and you can't because the light is shining so bright. Well, can I get up in there? It's blank. Absolutely blank. So. Whatever you want this week to be, that's what it will be. So keep your thoughts good. Stay positive because you don't want yucky thoughts. You don't want your week to be yucky, you know? Maybe I should just go back into that black bag again. Blank. All right. This is a good one for this week. It is, uh, I can't even get that in there. I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to back my light up a little bit. All right, can you see that better? It's surrender. And what I'm picking up with surrender is just go with the flow. You know, just allow yourself to flow. Last week we had flexibility. And I'm going to put my light back on. Hold on. Flexibility is about going with the flow, going with the movement of the wind or the river. Surrender is kind of the same thing. When you resist, it's painful. So if really shitty stuff is happening to you, your best bet is just to surrender to it. Accept that it is what it is. You know, because sometimes you just really can't do anything about it. Getting pissed off, getting angry, screaming, yelling. Who, it doesn't do anybody good. Who, who does it do any good? You know, so you're just better off taking a big deep breath and falling into surrender with whatever comes up this coming week. Now, with the Mars and Scorpio and the cards that I chose... I've picked my heart-shaped Labradorite, and I really love this. My friend Brick gave me this, and unfortunately I dropped it on the ground. You know, I, have a, uh, I have a hole in it. And then I also have Labrador, Labradorite Wand Tower. So I'm going to use Labradorite this week because it's filled with magic. It shines the light in dark places. We really do need to have the light shown on our shadow side so that we can work through some of the issues, some of our yuckiness that we hold on to. Uh, a lot of that is fear, fear of the unknown, fear of the past, fear of the future. Um, just, you know, nasty, yucky ugliness that lives within ourselves and does come out, you know, Kind of like what I was saying with surrender. When something happens, getting angry, getting verbal with somebody, it doesn't do anybody any good because the situation's still going to be what it is. So you're better off just uh, dealing with that shadow side of yourself because I expect that it will come up. The cards that I drew for this week are from the Gaia Oracle card by uh, Tony Carmine Salerno. And yeah, you can't see it because of the light glare. So 
this is the deck I'm using. Cards are really good. And I'm in a little bit of a different setting. My tree is not decorated, but hopefully if I can get a minute with my daughter, we'll, we will get that decorated. We like to do that together. The first card that I have for you for this week, I'm going to make sure I can get that up in there and get it good. It's thinking of you. And this really created um, a lot of emotion in me when I first saw this card because it's saying to me that, you know, obviously somebody is thinking of you, but a lot of times it has to do with someone from the other side is thinking of you just like you're thinking of them. And it could even be someone in the living. So if you've been thinking about somebody a lot, that is either here in the living or even on the other side know that they're also thinking about you the holidays do bring our loved ones closer like telepathically and you know this got me thinking because most of my family I would say 99% of my family is gone and on the other side and it really makes me kind of sad this time of year because I think about all of the wonderful Christmases that I had with the people that I loved. And this time of year makes me think of them, but just know that the, I know that they're thinking of me too. And it's pretty interesting, the next card that came up, and it's intuitive communication. And this will be for... The middle of the week actually I think all three of these cards are for the entire week but I'll spread them out over the week on my Facebook Instagram and Twitter posts but intuitive communication is saying pay attention to your intuition pay attention to those little whispers that you hear because if someone on the other side if you're thinking of them and they're thinking of you they're gonna start to show you little signs especially around the holidays we also have the winter solstice coming up the following week, so the veil is kind of very thin. It'll be kind of the wrapping up of that veil that's left over from, uh, from Halloween time. That doesn't mean that the veil completely shuts down, trust me. No, it stays open. Um, so really just, you know, pay attention to song lyrics, numbers, little different coincidences and serendipities because they're going to start to show themselves to you especially with Jupiter and Mars and Scorpio it's like such an intuitive time but we're all so busy rushing around to holiday parties and holiday shopping and this and that and just our schedules are so busy that we don't pay attention and I think spirit on the other side gets really frustrated because they're trying to get messages through to all of us to let us know how much they love us, but we're so busy that we don't pay attention. So, you know, this is a great time of year to just spend some quiet and relaxing time so that you can tap into that. And then for the end of the week, I have Enchanted Forest. And this is saying something magical is going to happen to us and for us. Um, it could be, it's something that rushes into your life very unexpectedly that brings ver uh, lasting joy to us. It could be a new romance. It could be a new creative idea. It could be a new job. Something wonderful and new will be happening to us very very soon and this is such a magical time of year so if you can embrace the magic and really believe that the magic is there something wonderful will happen for you and that's also why I wanted to use the labradorite because it, it does help bring in more magic um, I guess that's really all I have to say I mean I am kind of like a bah humbug but I do believe in the magic of this time and I believe that anything wonderful could happen and I stay hopeful to that magic happening that's the exciting thing because you just never know and it's so unexpected and it is life-changing and transforming so I'm like oh you know what could possibly be happening uh, I can look back at this time of year 
for many, many, many years, like throughout my life, and I've always seemed to be very lucky. Um, in some respect, something wonderful always does happen and catches me off guard. I think that's all I have for you. Oh, <clears throat> you know I always forget one thing. So my little health tip, my health and wellness tip for you for this week. With it getting so cold here in the Northern Hemisphere, the air can be extremely dry. It's horrible for our nasal passages, our sinuses, our chests, our skin, our hair. I mean, everything is affected by this cold, dry weather. So what I like to do is I put a big soup pot of water on my stove on a very low flame. I put in some cinnamon and some cloves. Sometimes if I have like some extra old fruit hanging around that I got to get rid of, I'll chop that up. I'll put that in there. Makes my whole house smell like Christmas. It's wonderful. You can even put essential oils in that big pot of water. Thieves is wonderful at this time of year because it helps you to stay healthy, especially when you're inhaling it. That's why I think I use the cloves and the cinnamon because that is in Thieves uh, and ginger. I like to sometimes put orange slices and lemon slices in there. So give it a try. See if your house doesn't feel warmer and cozier. It'll smell better and you'll have less static in your hair and your skin won't be as dry either. So that is, that's my, my health and wellness tip for the week. Now be sure to stay tuned for my contest and, you know, comment on here about what card you think, which chakra card you think had the secret word underneath of it, and you will win a free three-card reading. I'll announce that actually probably tomorrow, tomorrow evening on Facebook. So until later, peace and blessings. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.